Hi guys, today I am going to share how to make my spinach and white bean soup. I have shown this in my what's for dinner videos in the past and I've had several requests to share the recipe so I thought I would share it today. It's incredibly easy to make, it's nutritious and delicious and it's vegan. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to make it. Let's start with all of the ingredients. They're just very simple, delicious ingredients. So you're going to need about six cups of vegetable broth. I made my own, in case you see little specks of carrots in there when we get to the cooking. You'll need about three to four cups of spinach. I have baby spinach here. And then this is optional. I have one cup of brown rice and quinoa pasta. You can leave this out. I like to have the pasta because it makes the soup a little heartier and a little more filling. You can use whatever kind of pasta you like. If you have shell pasta or even elbow pasta would be fine. I just happen to have this on hand. You'll need one can of white kidney beans. You're going to need one small onion or half of a large onion, whatever you happen to have is fine. Three cloves of garlic. You're going to need one to two tablespoons of olive oil. You'll need one teaspoon of dried thyme and one teaspoon of dried rosemary. You might want to add a little more. I always like to taste things after I'm done cooking them because you can definitely add more seasoning so you might want to keep more in hand for that. You'll need about a teaspoon or so of salt. Again, you can adjust that as well. And then a little bit of freshly ground pepper. And that's all. It really is a simple recipe. We want to have our pot nice and hot before we add our olive oil. I have my pot over medium high heat. We're going to chop our onion and mince our garlic. I'm just going to throw all of this in my little chopper. If you don't have one of these, it's not a problem at all. This just makes it quick and easy, but you can uh, just chop your onion and mince your garlic. That took about five seconds. <laughs> That's why I like to use this. Now we're going to add one to two tablespoons of olive oil. My little bottle was almost empty, <laughs> so I had to grab the big bottle. So we're going to let that get nice and hot before we add our onions and garlic. Now that our oil is nice and hot, we're going to add our onions and garlic, and we're just going to saute this for about a minute or so, just so that it's nice and tender, but of course we have to be really careful because garlic burns very easily and our oil is very hot. I just really like the flavor that this gives the soup instead of just throwing it in there without sauteing it first. This just adds a little extra something. I'm just going to saute that a little bit. Then we're going to add our vegetable broth. We'll also add our white kidney beans, and you don't need to drain these. So that is boiling, and we are going to add our pasta. And we're going to cook it until it's almost done before we add our spices and our spinach. And I do like to grind my spices just a little bit before I add them to my soup. So after about five minutes, your pasta should be almost done. I do have brown rice pasta, so if you're using regular pasta, it might take a little bit longer, so you might want to give it about seven minutes. You're just going to turn it down, turn down the heat to medium, and you're going to add your spinach, your thyme and rosemary, salt and pepper. And you can just go ahead and put that in. The spinach is going to wilt a lot. I'm sure if you cook with spinach, you know this, but it might seem like a lot of spinach, but it really does wilt down, and it's a great way to pack in all of that delicious spinach. Now, I did want to say this makes about four really good-sized servings, so if you have a larger family or if you want a lot of leftovers, you can definitely double the recipe. I think this is great with a side salad or 
or some crusty bread and because it has this pasta and the beans it is pretty filling even though there isn't any animal protein so then i'm going to go ahead and add my spices right in and you can always add more at the end i would start with one teaspoon of each and then taste it before you serve it and make sure that it tastes just the way you want it and we're going to add our salt and pepper. You can always add a little more of this after you taste it as well. And just kind of mix everything together. It's just going to take a couple minutes longer for the pasta to be al dente and the spinach to wilt. It's almost done. It should smell delicious in your kitchen. The one thing that I really like about this soup is that you really don't have to let it simmer for a long time or anything because we boiled the pasta and we already cooked the onions and garlic and the spinach only takes a couple minutes to wilt all of the flavors really seem to blend together really well and this is great for those nights when maybe you want a really delicious soup but you don't have time to let it simmer maybe after work or something this is a great hearty meal that doesn't take a long time and there it is guys, a delicious hearty soup that really doesn't take very long to make. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Thank you so much for watching.